the most high-ranking people in society are the ones who disregard themselves from any worldly desires. Respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Behind me, as you can see, millions of people, millions of lovers of Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam are flocking towards the holy shrine of Imam Musa al-Kalim alayhi salam to condole him and condole Imam Sahib al-Asr al-Zaman. May Allah hasten his reappearance for his tragic martyrdom. This narration that I mentioned from Imam Musa al-Kadhim, peace be upon him, is illustrated behind me through the millions of pilgrims who have come who have restrained and disregarded themselves from any worldly commitment, desire, pleasure to come and condole, to come and condole uh, the respected, uh, the honorable uh, seventh Imam of Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam. But I would also like to mention another narration by Imam Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam. He says, on the day of resurrection, there will be a stand on the divine, there will, there will stand on the divine throne for individuals from the past generations and for individuals from the later generations. <laughs> Nuh, Ibrahim, Musa, and Jesus are four from the first generations, from the past generations, and Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, Ali, Al Hassan Al Al Hussein, peace be upon them, are the four individuals from the later generations. Then they will be served food. Those who visit the holy shrines of the Imams will be invited to that food meal. I mean, yes, now we are seeing the millions of pilgrims flocking towards Imam Al Kadhim alayhi salam. A narration by, uh, I believe, Imam Al Radha or Imam Al Sadiq alayhi salam, who say whoever visits the oppressed one of, of al kadhmiyyah Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam, will be as like he has visited Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So it is very, it is very significant, it is very significant to touch upon this and never, never restrain ourselves from the ziyara of Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam. This is very important. But today I would also like to touch upon the fact of Imam Musa al kadhim being called and being named as the gate of fulfillment. Earlier today, I talked to one of uh, the old ladies who her son is going through some difficult times. And you know, she, she didn't want to appear on the camera, but she said, I'll, I'll recite you the story. She says that her son is going through a very difficult and hard situation right now because of uh, the war and whatever. So his legs were amputated so it was very difficult for him to get married he was he was very young so she went to Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam and begged at his doorsteps and she said oh my master Imam Musa al kadhim I beg for you know for, for a wife for my son subhanallah weeks later she says approximately 16 days later she has the dates in precise she says, I got a knock on the door and, you know, the scholar or the sheikh of, of the district of the area comes to her and says, uh, your son is going through difficult situations and he needs someone to relieve that stress and to help him out through his life. We have a lady for him if you would like to get, if you would like to marry him. She, right there and then she knew that this all was a result of her visitation to the Holy Shrine of Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam. So once again, I do repeat that it is very important to touch upon these stories and take them into consideration because it's actually very important to, you know, if you can't come to the ziyarah of Imam Musa al kadhim you can at least, you know, from this live coverage, you can, you can ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the right of these pilgrims to grant you your, your, your wishes. And that's very important to touch upon. But inshallah today uh, and uh, soon I will get a few, uh, you know, dedicated servants and dedicated <laughs> pilgrims uh, who have dedicated their lives, their occupations, everything they have uh, for uh, the service, at the service of the deal pilgrims who have come to the ziyarah of Imam Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam. So I would like to ask uh, the respected viewers uh, if you can, uh, the cameraman can go to a short break and we'll come back to you shortly.
respected viewers, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome as we uh, cover the processions and uh, the servants and uh, the pilgrims who are flocking towards the Holy Shrine of Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam. Behind me is a procession that is serving uh, a special type of food uh, that everybody loves. It's, it's kebab. And uh, as you can see behind me, uh, you know, kids, youth, old, young, uh, there's even girls serving at this procession. We do see the diversity in, in, in ages and the diversity uh, in, in uh, genders, all of them serving in this procession. Uh, but now let's go in and, and see uh, what they are serving and why they are doing it. Uh, where is the... Assalamu alaikum. So he's saying that this procession was established in 2002. What are the services so he's saying that they serve uh, a wide variety of foods uh, to the pilgrims of Mamus al-Kadhim alayhi uh, salam from kebab to shawarma uh, and all of this is, is nothing compared uh, to Ahl al-Bayt alayhi salam فشي خاص بينك وبين Mamus al-Kadhim اللي لمست Mamus al-Kadhim شنو شو تقول قليل بحق ستة تسني علي Mamus al-Kadhim واني تسني جسمي قزمور شو سوي قليل بحق Ahl al-Bayt so he's saying, uh, when you ask me this question, I get the shivers because whatever I say is 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 incomparable to what the Imam uh, Imam Musa Al Kalam has uh, you know offered uh, to us, and he says it's an honor uh, to actually serve here and serve his his pilgrims. Uh, حجينه uh, كم وجبه تقدمون باليوم والله ابدي من يعني من الصبح لحد ما يعني ما ما اتوقف يعني كم وجبه كم شيش كباب يعني 3000 4000 شيش كباب اي نعم ما شاء الله so he's saying this procession never stops it goes from the morning all the way you know until night and there's a night shift as well that hands out food uh, for the pilgrims he says that almost 3000 uh, sheesh of kebabs served the day. That's an enormous amount of, of, of meat handed out that they slaughter uh, two cows a day and that uh, usually takes them uh, approximately two to three days uh, to make it into kebabs and uh, you know uh, process the meat. But after that they begin by handing out chicken shawarma uh, two uh, large uh, rods filled with, with uh, chicken uh, they grill it and hand it out to the zawar of Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam. Rasala ila Imam al kadhim alayhi salam. What do you want to say? I mean, what do you say? It's a small amount of food. It's a small amount of food. But I want to say what you want to say. I don't know how to speak about my feelings. I don't know how to speak about it. I mean, I saw it from the Holy Spirit and the Lord and the 12 Imams. I saw it from the Holy Spirit. I saw it from myself. يعني شقول قليل بحق أهل البيت أشكال 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 الخير بركات يعني أشكال من ماك الله الطاني وفقني وخير من الله وهذا السبب أظل حتى ولدي أوصيهم هذا من الناس ابني أوصيه أقول له دير بالك قصر بأهل البيت زوار أهل البيت بركة شعار الحسينية عامة so I asked him is that uh, a final message to Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam. What would you like to say? He says, I can't really express my feelings because every time I touch upon this, uh, touch upon this matter, uh, I become, you know, very emotional. He says, I, I, I've witnessed many miracles and many things that Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam provided uh, to his pilgrims. He says, I even advise my little kids, uh, right, right beside him, his, his little child, uh, that to never, never, you know, serve to, to never not serve the zuwar of Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam and to always stay on point when serving uh, his blessed pilgrims. Hajina shkurkum, muwafaqeen insha'Allah. Allah yakhalikum insha'Allah. Muwafaqeen. Allah yakhalikum insha'Allah. Welcome back, respected viewers. As I promised, uh, I got and I, you know, uh, 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 the dedicated workers uh, of Mohsin TV, they went and brought me someone. Um, I 
got uh, the honor of talking to him and actually getting to know his story. It's very, very emotional, and it touched uh, my heart uh, because, uh, you know, well, I don't have to talk. Uh, let, let's find out from some. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaikum. Nisim bil khair. Khadunkum al-Sheikh Abu Najm al-Bidiri, sahab mokib al-Imam al-Qaim, ajallahi wa faraja sharif. So he is uh, Abu Najm uh, al-Bidiri. Uh, and he is uh, one of the establishers, and he is the establisher of uh, Al Qa'im procession uh, here in Al Kadhimiyah, serving the Zawar, uh, Imam Musa Al Kadhim alayhi salam. Hajina, uh, Imam Al Kadhim alayhi salam, summiya bi bab al Hawaj. Limada. Awalan, asal min Allah, inshaAllah, an yawafukum jami'an. لخدمة أهل البيت عليهم السلام في هذا المكان المقدس مكان الإمام موسى بن جعفر عليه السلام قاضي الحوائج الله سبحانه وتعالى أعطاه هذه الدرجة وهذه الرفعة الإلهية بقدر بقدر أكثر من قدر مظلوميته فكل الوافدين إلى عندما يأتون إلى موسى بن جعفر ويطلبون من الإمام موسى بن جعفر الله سبحانه وتعالى يقضي حوائجهم ببركة الإمام موسى بن جعفر so first he says, I would like, I would like to request from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you the ability uh, to continue serving Ahl al-Bayt alayhim salam And then he says that Imam Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam was chosen and was entitled as Bab al-Hawa'ij, the gate of fulfillment, is because he sacrificed everything he has for uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's how Allah rewarded him to, you know, grant the wishes of everyone who beseeches him. For everyone that goes and you know, begs at his holy shrine. Hajina, هل شاهدتم أو هل يعني كنتم شاهد عيان في معجزة في شيء حدث هنا أو يعني فشيء أنتوا بالنسبة لكم؟ نعم نعم. أنا يوم من الأيام قبل فترة طويلة من الأعوام قصدت الإمام موسى بن جعفر عليه السلام وقلت لسيد ومولى أنا جايك أريد أن أشوف معجزاتك. فبعد فترة دخلت إلى دخلت إلى داخل الضريح بقيت من الساعة بالتسعة صباحا حتى الساعة الثانية ونص مساء صليت الصلاة وبقيت أنتظر فبعد لحظات خاطبت الإمام سيدي ومولاي صارت الساعة بالثنتين ونص وأنا اللي بعيد وأنا قاعد شاهدت الإمام موسى بن جحفر والإمام محمد الجواد على كرسيين مصبوغين بحنة وقدامهم طبلة كبيرة وعدم سجل يا زائر يدخل يبتسمون ببكه ويسجلون باسمه فأشروا علي وبتسموا بمعنى فلان افهم اعلم انه اي زائر يدخل لهذا المكان احنا نسجل اسمه وعليها اعمالكم كلها ان شاء الله مسجلة يم الامام موسى بن جحفر عليه السلام uh, to see and to, you know, to uh, witness some of his miracles. So he says, one day I went into the holy shrine and I cried and I begged at his holy tomb, his holy grill. And he says from 9 a.m. up until 2.30 uh, a.m. So he stayed over uh, approximately uh, over 20 hours within the holy shrine of Imam Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam. And then he says, I went to sleep. And in the dream, I saw Imam Musa al-Kadhim and Imam Muhammad al-Jawad in the dream where they were sitting on two thrones uh, with, with Hinna on it. And he says that they have a book in their hand. And whoever goes into the holy shrine, they smile in his face and they say, congratulations, you have your pilgrimage, your visitation has been accepted by Allah and by us, Ahlul Bayt, alayhim salam. So, I mean, that story right there has so much meaning that when we do come to the ziyarah of Imam Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam, we have to keep that in mind that our visitation to the Holy Shrine is 100% uh, accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then, بالنسبه للزوار اللي ما يقدروا يجون. وهذه احد معجزات الامام موسى بن جعفر عليه السلام. انظر الى مدينه الكاظميه المقدسه هي هذه الطوارئ دوله بكاملها مشرعه الى طوارئ زوار الامام موسى بن جحفر ولخدمه زوار الامام موسى بن جحفر وهذه الـ 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 الناس والحشود اللي جايه بالملايين بمعجزات موسى بن جحفر هذه المواكب ان تكفيها 
وان تغطيها وان توكلها وتشربها وتنيمها هذه لولا ان نخليها بدوله مجاوره الى دول العراق ما اتصور ان يغطون على هذه الملايين اللي جايه هاي ببركه الامام موسى بن جعفر so he's saying especially in the city in the holy city of kadhmia uh, it has, uh, it's, it's, it's under, uh, you know, uh, very high restriction, and uh, everyone in the city is serving the pilgrims of Imam Musa al-Kadhim salam and he says, due to the situation of Iraq right now, it's amazing to see this, it's, it's, it's amazing to see how many people flock towards the Imam, it's amazing to see how many people serve the pilgrims of the Imam, uh, so all of this is in favor of Imam Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam uh, Hajina, نعرف إنه واحد إذا يريد قضاء حاجته يجي للإمام إذا اللي ما يقدر يجي الإمام مثلاً دو ال ال الناس اللي عايشين بالغرب شلون تقضي حاجتهم يعني وهم ما يجون الله سبحانه وتعالى عد ما خلق الخلق ووزع الوظائف إلى خلق ومخلوقاته ومن ضمنهم الملائكة المقربين وال والنقالة يسموهم الملائكة النقالة عد ما يحدث حدث وتتكلم بكلمة طيبة الله سبحانه وتعالى بسطة هاي الملائكة نقلون الكلمة الطيب إلى الله سبحانه وتعالى بطبق من نور احنا ما نشاهده بينه وبينه برزخ اذا بواسطة الدعاء بواسطة الدعاء وطلب الحاجة من اهل البيت وبواسطة اهل البيت الى الله يحمل هذه الكلمة الطيب احد الملائكة النقالة الى الله سبحانه وتعالى ويوصل طلب هذا الشخص بواسطة اهل البيت عليهم السلام so I asked him is that you know Imam Musa al-Kadhim is called the gate of fulfillment to the people who come and beseech him at his holy shrine. However, uh, how about the people who can't come to the holy shrine of Imam Musa al-Kadhim, the people who are abroad in the West, people who couldn't come uh, this year? Uh, how are they and how will Allah Subh'ala grant uh, their, uh, their wishes and, and their desires? He says that there are angels, special angels, uh, appointed by Allah Subh'ala Ta'ala to record whatever uh, the servant says and if that servant beseeches Imam Musa al-Kadhim from afar, it will go up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on a platter of light that we can't see unless you know, we have cognizant and full cognizant understanding. But inshallah, we, you know, we, we don't have that. But everyone up in, in heaven sees that and they ask, what is that? He says, this is the request of a servant who requested from Ahlul Bayt, who requested from Imam Musa al-Kadhim So I urge you, respected viewers, to besiege Imam Musa al-Kadhim wherever you are, especially at the comfort of your home, to besiege Imam Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam to, uh, to grant you your wishes and desires because they are very close to us as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is close to us as well. Hajina, shukran lakum, muwafaqeen, afwan. I thank you and ask Allah to give you to the service of Imam Musa ibn Ja'far alayhi salam and ask Allah to give you هذه القناة الحسينية التي تنقل أخبار خدمة الإمام الحسين وتنقل أخبار الوافدين من كل مكان إلى الإمام موسى بن جحفر هذه التي تنقل التاريخ بلحظات وأن يسجل التاريخ من خلالهم إلى الإمام موسى بن جحفر أسأل من الله أن يدرككم ويوفقكم وأن يحشركم مع محمد وآل محمد صلوا على محمد وآل محمد uh, so he, he says, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, grant you the ability to continue serving Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam and to uh, let Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam intercede uh, for the dedicated workers of Imam Hussain TV for their hard work and uh, their dedication to provide you, respected viewers, with the live coverage from uh, the holy city of, of Kadhimiya. But we'll go into a short break and come back to you shortly. Fasl.
Respected viewers, welcome back. Hope you, inshallah, uh, enjoyed those uh, coverage as you see, as you saw the pilgrims uh, flocking towards the Holy Shrine of Imam Musa al Kadam. But I would like to narrate another short miracle. Uh, one of the great and esteemed scholars uh, narrated uh, to a very trustworthy person. He says, uh, In Baghdad, people saw a woman running fast where they asked her, Where are you going? She says, I am going to Imam Musa al Kadam to the Holy Shrine. She was running and she says because my son has been being imprisoned uh, by the tyrant of that time Someone from uh, the Hanbali school of thought he says your son will die in prison The woman answered then I beseech Allah in the name of the one who was killed in prison to free my son from all hardship and Eventually days later hours later this young man, the son of this woman, was freed, was free uh, to go home. And the man who, you know, talked badly about this woman and said that your son will die in prison, his son was taken into custody and judged uh, for whatever he did. Uh, but to see that, I mean, it's, it's, it's very uh, emotional because Imam Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam he is one of the Imams and every Imam is entitled something different. We have Imam Hussein who is the father of freedom. We have the Ahlul Bayt given different entitlements. Yet Imam Musa al-Kadhim is given that specific name of Qad al-Hawaj, Bab al-Hawaj, the door and the gate of fulfillment. Uh, but inshallah, we're going to continue our, our live coverage uh, from uh, the holy city of Qadhimiyya. But uh, here, here with me, Salamu alaikum. Allah khalikum, inshallah. Allah salikum. Here with me, uh, the head of the medical tour, uh, the medical campaign uh, within uh, the holy uh, city of Kadamiya, Ms. Uh, so if you can, Salamu alaikum. Allah khalikum, inshallah. Isim bil khair? Muhammad Hassan Madi, Mudir Safari, Mudir Qatar, Kakh Shimali, Mudir Zaf. Uh, so he's saying he's the head and uh, the manager of the ambulances here uh, within uh, this district of Kadmiya. Uh, احنا كقسم اسعاف فوري تابع الى وزاره الصحه نقدم خدمات الى زوار الامام موسى بن جعفر وهاي المناسبات الدينيه اصبحت عندنا من المناسبات المعتادين عليها والمهضومه ومتمكنين ان شاء الله متمكنين باداء الواجب والناحيه الامنيه الحمد لله متوفره فخدمات الاسعاف فوري تنتشر في منطقه الكاظميه لابداء ومساعده اي محتاج اما موقعيا في منطقه الحدث او نقل الى الى حالات المستشفيات نعم سو هي سينج ذات uh, the division here, the medical tour, the medical campaign here uh, is uh, specified here and staged here uh, to uh, get any emergency straight to the hospital and uh, get them where, where they need to be and medically treat them. They say uh, that uh, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, the security here is good. Uh, so they're, they're, they're doing the best they can as well as they provide various types of medical uh, treatments to the Zuwar. How um, do you تقصد بالاسعافوريا؟ بالاسعافوريا 
احنا حاليا داخل الكاظميه 25 عجله اسعاف وعندنا اطراف الكاظميه 65 عجله اسعاف متكونه من ساق اسعاف مع معاون طبي مع توفر الضمادات والادويه في حاله احتياجها للاخوان الزوار تعرف انت الزوار مشوا مسافات طويله الى حد ما وصلوا مدينه الكاظميه المقدسه فاكو بعض الزوار يحتاجون الى مساعدات طبيه نعالجها موقعيا او ننقلها الى اقرب مستشفى. <تصفيق> Uh, so he's saying that there are currently 25 ambulances within this district of Kalbamiya, uh, within uh, the main city, the downtown uh, city. And he says that there are 60 uh, ambulances spread around the holy city of Kalbamiya because the people, the pilgrims walk here, they don't know what's going to go on, uh, they might get sick. They might get any disease, God forbid, as, uh, of course. Uh, so definitely they uh, provide uh, any medical uh, treatment that they require. Uh, he says that every ambulance, there's a driver and there's a doctor's assistant uh, beside him to either on the spot medically treat uh, the patients or take them uh, to the nearest hospital. يعني كونكم صحة وما موسى الكاظم عليه السلام يعني باب الحوائج مثل ما تعرفون شو تحبون تقولوا مام الكاظم عليه السلام الحمد لله والشكر اولا هي هاي المناسبات اللي بغداد هي بها من وبها لما موسى من جعفر فهاي المناسبات المهمة اللي اصلا بغداد يعني كل سنة تشهد فت فعاليات من جميع دوائر الدولة في خدمة الزوار وانتو تشوفون ما شاء الله الزوار باتجاه مدينة كاظمية مدة اربعة ايام وبعد عدنا ايام قادمة والحمد لله والشكر الوضع مستقر وبعض الحالات اللي نقلناها يعني ما بين وصولهم الى منطقه الكاظميه وما بين احتياجاتهم للمساعدات الطبيه قلت لك مثل عالجناهم موقعيا واللي يحتاجون نقول مستشفى الحمد لله والشكر. سو هي سينج اتس ا بلسنج تو بي هير تو سيرف ذا زوار اوف ما موسى الكاظم عليه السلام اند سيز ذات ايفري ثينج از اندر كنترول اند ذات الكاظميه از اولويز يو نو ات ذيس تايم اوف بيريود جورين ذا مارتدم اوف ما موسى الكاظم عليه السلام it's 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 very important to uh, you know dedicate everything uh, to Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam and to Imam Musa al as as they are doing. I mean, they are serving uh, at at their fullest and at their uh, most capability to serve the zuwar of Imam Musa al kadhim alayhi salam. Uh, so uh, I would like to thank him. Shukran. Respected viewers, I would like to thank you for tuning in today. May Allah subhanahu wa taala grant everyone their desires, their wishes, uh, anything that they want. It's very important to, right now, if, if, if you are seeing the pilgrims of Muhammad al-Qadim al-Islam, request your desires, request your wishes by the honor and by the right of those pilgrims walking to Imam Musa al-Qadim al-Islam. Because it is, it is, and I do emphasize on this part, that it is important to beseech Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on a night like this to the right of Imam Musa al-Kadhim, to the right of the pilgrims that walk to him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant everyone your wishes, their wishes. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.